In this video, we're going to have a look at how we take the information from inside a eukaryotic cell's nucleus, and that information obviously is stored in the form of DNA as chromosomes, and how that gets turned into polypeptides, which are actually built from their building blocks, which are amino acids, which are found floating around in the cytoplasm. So we've got our, this is our cell, this is our nucleus, and the cytoplasm surrounding it. And the way that we would build a polypeptide is on a ribosome and ribosomes are also found in the cytoplasm. So we have a slight problem. We've got our information in the nucleus, but our factory for making polypeptides and our raw materials outside the nucleus. And DNA is far too large to leave the nuclear pores which are the holes in the double membrane nucleus surrounding the DNA. So we're going to need a messenger molecule, something which is able to pick up the information from the DNA, leave the nuclear pore, and go to the factory, to the ribosome in the cytoplasm, and then be used to actually make a polypeptide with all our amino acids joined together following the code that was found in the DNA. And that molecule is actually called a messenger molecule. It's called mRNA. M standing for messenger. And it's a much shorter molecule than the DNA because it's only one gene at a time. It's also only single-stranded, so it's easily able to fit through the nuclear pore. And it lasts for a short amount of time, but just long enough to interact with the ribosome and carry that message to um, allow the amino acids to join in order. So these processes that are happening are called transcription and translation. So whereas when DNA is turned into mRNA, which is what's happening here in the nucleus, that process is transcription. And when mRNA is turned into a polypeptide, which is what is happening in the cytoplasm on the ribosomes, that process is called translation. These two words sound very similar and they start with the same few letters, but you can remember them. If you remember that we have a scribe in an exam sometimes, we can transcribe the language of DNA to the language of RNA, they're both nucleic acids, so they're speaking the same language. So we have a scribe making the message that can then be translated from nucleic acid into amino acids, which are the building blocks of polypeptides. So we're changing the molecular language, which is a translation. That might help you to remember. So this is our overview of what happens when we take the DNA from the nucleus, where it needs to stay so that it is protected and stable, and we actually functionally turn it into what we want in the cell in terms of a structural or metabolic protein, which is what happens in the cytoplasm.